here at Mobile World Congress Americas in Los Angeles, and I'm here with Tejas and Jeff at Accenture, and we're talking about 5G. So you've got a covered yeah. network operations and services all the way through. Right, so I, mean, I would just add, you know, what's exciting about all of this is that we're bringing all of Accenture into the 5G acceleration services, right? right. So we've got our innovation architecture, we've got uh, digital studios and the Fjord-led, design-led thinking, we're incorporating our technology and digital practices, building the platforms, and then lastly, we're, we're incorporating our operations capabilities to help automate and drive the efficiencies at the back end of when the networks are deployed. So I think you know, the, all of Accenture's business services groups are involved in, in helping us drive the 5G acceleration. So we've kind of taken a step back and through all of our work with clients, we've found that there's probably a set of tools that we've called the 5G accelerator solution and 5G acceleration services that really help knock down these initial set of challenges. And the first one is really an end-to-end -end assessment tool to understand how ready are you for 5G from the entire stack, from the RAN to the transport to the core network to your actual business. The second tool we've created is really focused on that use case question, really working through a use case generator based on your assets and DNA. How do we actually create the best use cases for you? The third tool that we have is really focused on that device evolution, a playbook basically to move from a world where you're looking down at your palm to a world where you're looking out and interacting with it. And then we've got some really, really interesting things around an analytics and digital cockpit that basically overlays kind of all of your assets from your network to your spectrum to your retail presence to where your customers are and where that usage is and then where you should be making decisions on where to deploy. And then finally, once you get the deployment, how do we accelerate that deployment through a command center tool? How important are ecosystems going to be as businesses are transitioning into 5G? Now, when you think about 5G and the investments carriers are going to make, that's about $275 billion over the next six to seven years of investment they're making to evolve and, and deploy the 5G network. That in itself drives another three million jobs over the next seven years uh, when the networks are deployed. And we're seeing about a $500 billion worth of GDP uh, uplift. Uh, I think ecosystems are incredibly important for this and if you're working with a device manufacturer, their problems are much different that they're trying to solve for their business in 5G than a network operator versus a new entrant or a vertical player. But if we just think about a mobile network operator, they're very used to, at this point, selling a smartphone to a customer with a plan, a data plan with a bucket of megabytes. So tomorrow, the difficulty is, is you need an ecosystem to be able to reach those new value chains, those new business revenue areas. I look at 5G as an innovation platform, and so we look at our ecosystem of partners today, and over, over the next five to six years, we're gonna add more partners into this ecosystem because we are not gonna know what the next set of use cases are gonna be that are gonna drive the innovation engine. And so, you know, I looked at us being able to expand that partnership and bring new partners to the table to allow us to kind of get to the next step in terms of innovation.